Okay, I'm going to do a quick video on how I do Fisher projections. Um, big point to keep in mind is that what you put on the top and the bottom is what you are framing as your ultimate perspective. And by denoting the COH, that is this group, my ultimate perspective is this angle. But a Fisher projection and how I draw Fisher projections is a series of tiny perspectives. So we have an ultimate perspective, but when I'm looking and drawing and manipulating this Fisher projection, I have tiny perspectives on each point. So this carbon points up here. Here's my next tiny perspective. This carbon points down here. I have a tiny perspective, tiny perspective. And what that means is that at any given moment, you're always viewing this, staring up with your head this way, with your ultimate perspective. You could also be viewing it, you know, imagine, we'll say this is the molecule down here. Your ultimate perspective is always with this aldehyde towards your head at the top of your perspective. So it's like, it doesn't matter if you're switching your tiny perspectives back and forth and back and forth. At any given moment in time, if you're holding this molecule in front of you, that carbonyl is at the topmost of your field of vision. But all I'm doing is I'm just flipping my perspective every single time. And I flip my perspective to look directly at where the pointiness of these bonds are. So where things point out is where I shift my tiny perspective. So if I'm looking right here, remember my ultimate perspective is I'm holding the molecule in front of me with the carbonyl up at my head. If I'm looking at this chlorine from this perspective, it's coming out at me. If it's coming out at me, that means it's to my right. And if I were to take it and spread it onto the page, I would be taking it to my right and spreading it to the right. So the chlorine would be to my right, which means the resulting hydrogen would be on the left. But if I flip my perspective now, and now I'm looking down, and I'm looking at this bromine, the bromine's going into the page. And since my perspective is looking at it this way, if it's going into the page, that's again to my right. So I spread it down to my right. But now I flip my tiny perspective again. Remember the carbonyl is still towards my head. It's coming out at me. And again, since it's coming out at me, that's to my right if I'm looking at my tiny perspective. And I flip it and it's CL and I spread it out. But if I look up at this OH with my tiny perspective, I'm not looking at it this way. The OH is coming out at me which means it's coming out towards my left, which would be like that. So I have my ultimate perspective, which is just keeping this carbonyl at the top of my field of vision at any time, or at the top of what I'm looking at. But I'm constantly flipping between tiny perspectives, which are looking at the junctions or the pointy parts and interpreting from that direction, either looking down at the point or up at the point, and the point being just where these carbons make a point, is that coming out at me? And if it's coming out at me, you know, and I'm looking at it from the bottom up, that means it would be towards my right, and I would crank that thing out and spread it out towards my right. That is how I do it. Hopefully that made sense.